Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie Clark. I'm a working mom and I've been on maternity leave for about five months and my daughter Eliza is going to be going to daycare shortly. That's basically what this channel is going to be about, how I'm managing being a working mom, first time mom, and bringing my daughter to daycare for the first time. And we'll see what else happens. I wanted to go over a couple of things, kind of do like a haul of everything that I'm getting prepared for, for my daughter in daycare and what I'm gonna need at work for like breast pumping and everything like that. So without further ado, let's get into it. Every daycare is different. My daycare offers formula. They offer feeding the baby cereal that they have on hand too, but they give you the option if you're breastfeeding or if you are giving formula, you can give your own formula. If you're giving cereal, you can give the cereal ahead of time and they'll prepare it for you. A couple other daycares that I looked at, they were super strict and said that bottles had to be prepared. They wouldn't prepare any of the bottles directly. So the one that we picked, they're super easy to work with. They'll prepare the bottles and they also said that if what I think my daughter is drinking for bottles, being exclusively breastfed up until this point, I'm not really sure how many ounces she's drinking, they, I can store some of my frozen packs there and then they can prepare for them, which is really nice that I can have some of my frozen stash there for her. Okay. I'm gonna get into it, I'm already holding things up. So, based on what my daycare needs, we need to provide a crib sheet. This is from Target, their, is it Cloud Canyon? I don't know the name of the brand. But this was an extra spare sheet that we had, so perfect for daycare. And I'm gonna be labeling this so that she has this for her cot. This might be extra, but I plan on sleeping on this for like a night or two so that it smells like me so that she can adjust better to be in daycare. I have no idea. I'm a dog mom so I'm used to having dogs and I feel like scent's a very big important thing and also for babies. So I'm gonna try that to see if it helps. Next item is a Wubba Nub. She loves this thing. She will not go to sleep without it. She only gets her pacifier with nap times bedtime and when we're in the car. I know that this is controversial for her to sleep with because it's like a stuffed animal essentially attached to the pacifier, but I found that when she was really little, all the other pacifiers would just fall out of, out of her mouth. So she was able to hold on to the little doggy and you can get them in tons of animals. There's unicorns, dragons, cats, whatever you want. But we got her a dog because we love dogs. I found that she was able to hold it into her mouth and sleep a lot better and even at four months when we started sleep training her, I know that's also controversial, but she was able to find her pacifier if it fell out and put it back in her mouth much sooner than like finding a little individual pacifier and putting it back in her mouth. They don't have those skills yet. So I love the Wubba Nub. It's been a game changer. My daycare also will give us everything. So my daycare will also give you everything that needs to be washed on Fridays. They do do laundry themselves there if they need to, if there's like an accident or something like that. They just give like the crib sheet and everything back every week at the end of the week so that you can wash and take it home, which I think is really nice. This also goes in the washing machine, so I'll be sure to wash the daycare one. My daughter also sleeps in a sleep sack. Right now she's in the nested bean and she's about to grow out of it. She's in the small, I think, which is good up until six months. It's got a little like bean on the chest so it's supposed to mimic feeling like your mom's hand on your chest to help you sleep. I don't really know how effective it is. And my daughter, now that she can roll over, sleeps on her belly, so. You, can, you are supposed to be able to wear it backwards so that the bean part's on the back, but I've tried that and she didn't like it. So I got a couple more wearable blankets and I got the Burt's Bees brand. So hopefully this is good. I plan on having one at daycare, maybe two, and then at least one at home for us. I try to be pretty minimal and cautious of what I buy. I hate buying extra stuff just to have it. I want to keep my footprint small for the world, especially having a baby. I care so much more about our environment. I want to make sure that there's a planet for my daughter when she's older. Side note, is this, look at my, my postpartum hair, like I am, I'm balding. I'm not really balding. I'm, I actually have really thick hair, but I've been shedding like crazy. Anywho, for all this stuff that I'm going to have, I bought some labels. 
got these on Amazon. They're non-iron fabric labels. So it sounded interesting. They're supposed to be washer and dryer safe, no iron needed. There are 45 labels in assorted sizes. They are permanent, so you're supposed to be able to write on it and stick them and they're supposed to stay. The next thing that I got, because I'm gonna be breastfeeding, the daycare asks that I label which bottles to use. They don't need the time that I pumped or expressed the milk. They just need to know what goes first. So one, two, three, four, how many bottles she's gonna have in the day. I've seen like permanent ones that you can adhere and get like their name printed. I'm pretty minimal and I don't wanna like waste all these bottles and have like a sticker on there. So I got reusable bottle labels. Again, I found these on Amazon. So they're from Stretchy Bear, they're reusable body bottle labels and it fits multiple size. They're silicone so they like stretch that fits like multiple assorted bottles because nothing standard in the industry. So there's a marker included so you're supposed to put that on and then you can wash it off with soap and water. We'll see how this goes. And that's pretty much it for Eliza going to daycare. She's going to be starting solids soon. I already tried it based on what my pediatrician recommended but as a mom, I could just tell my daughter's stomach was really upset for a few days and I don't want to give her gas straps every day. I decided with my husband, Andy, that we were going to hold off on the salads for a little bit until she's a little older because most people say six months and she was at the four month mark trying this. Once she starts into cereal, then I'm going to bring her oat cereal and we have organic stuff that our pediatrician recommended. I know a lot of people do rice cereal. In my research, my sister-in-law also told me that rice apparently has arsenic in it, which a lot of food does. We all consume it, it's, it's okay, but if it's something that she's going to be eating every day, I don't want to be giving her arsenic. I'm going with the oatmeal route. Do your research. Also, baby food, tons of baby food has lead in it. I don't know why but I am going to be making baby food. I plan on making her baby food every weekend. I just made yams and those are ready to be frozen and we had carrots frozen already from when we tried to start the salads. I only have a couple of things for what I'm gonna need back to work um, while I'm breastfeeding and trying to pump. My supply is really weird right now. I don't know what's going on. I have the Medela Freestyle Breast Pump and last night the suction just all of a sudden seemed like it wasn't very strong anymore and I only got like an ounce and a half. I'm not a big fan of the electric breast pump. Most of my milk stash that I have I got from the Hacka. This is amazing. I did it right from the beginning, probably a week or so after her being home. You flip this back, squeeze and attach it onto the opposite side that you're feeding on and it catches your letdown. I would do this with every feeding and it helped get my supply up and regulate my supply and helped me build, me build my stash. And honestly, I would do one side and then the other side every single feed. I've also have had a few clogged ducts and this thing has helped with clogged ducts. I've also pumped when I was super engorged if you're on the go. This thing is a lifesaver. I highly recommend it. I have two, I would recommend having two. My supply hasn't been great, so I've been trying to use this again to get my supply back up. I don't know what's happening. I stopped eating Oreos. <laughs> I'm serious. A lot of people say that Oreos help with supplies and I think I'm gonna go to the store and get some today. So last night when I pumped, I only got an ounce and a half with my Medela. When I was getting three, then it was like when I started working out and things like that, it was going down to two. And I don't know if now if it's because the suction has just been slowly going away. I googled it and it's apparently a known thing. And then they tell you to like replace all of your tubing and everything like that. No, my tubing's fine. I was not a big pumper. I just started pumping. So really my pumps probably only gotten like, I don't know, 20, 30 uses and it's crapping out on me. I don't think that's cool. So for breast pumping, I hope I can breast pump after I feed her in the morning, three times at work, and then once before I go to bed, which is usually at 10 p.m. She still is feeding in the middle of the night, so I can't do like a middle of the night feed, but I plan on bringing a bag. This is one of my old diaper bags. This is from the company Diaper, D-Y-P-E-R. They are a biodegradable company. This is not sponsored, I just love them. A biodegradable diaper, it's made out of bamboo, so it's sustainable and no harsh chemicals. Everything's good for baby. When I signed up, I got this bag. 
So in here, I have a cooler. I found this on Amazon. It's called Leaky Baby, and it's got like a flap and a pocket there for things. It's insulated, and that has a removable lining in case your milk leaks. It's contained in this bag. It also came with this freezer thing. I thought it was going to be a gel pack, but you add your own water and there's like some powder in there. I don't know. It's weird. It's written in some Asian script, so I'm not even sure how to do it. I'm assuming hot water and mix up that powder and freeze it. And then it's also got a strap. That's what I'm going to use to store my milk in the containers once I'm done. I may bring these to label them while I'm there or I might just use good old fashioned masking tape. I have one of the milk snob covers. I have a location at my job where you get like a separate cubicle almost to pump so it's private but just in case I'm gonna have a dish towel. You never know. And then the last thing I have is a Medela Quick clean, just something that you can use to sanitize. I have not used this yet. It came in one of the kits that I got, but it's supposed to be good for 100 uses. I don't really know if I need to sterilize while at work. A good hack that I heard and that I've been doing while I pump is if you're going to be doing multiple pumping sessions, instead of washing all your gear multiple times a day, you can go ahead and just put it all together and keep it in the fridge and that's supposed to slow down bacteria. Last thing I have are the Munchkin Bottle sponges. I've used Dr. Brown's and I've used the, this brand Munchkin and I love this one so much more. The Dr. Brown one, I find that the blue sponge at the top comes so loose. I don't know. I like this one more. So I got one so I can have one with me at work and I'm going to have a little travel size dish soap too. I think that's it. Is this similar to what you had to do for your daycare? I don't know. I hope that I'm prepared. I will let you know if I'm overdoing it. I am a big planner. I need to be organized. It just makes me feel more grounded and more comfortable. And actually, my daughter, Eliza, is starting to wake up. So that was perfect timing. Let me know what works for you, any working moms that have gone through this, if you have any advice. If there's anything else that maybe your daycare recommends, something different, and leave me a comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. I hope to make more videos like this coming up soon. I plan on doing this maybe weekly, but I will see you all in the next video. Take care.